We are going to be making a mushroom falafel gyro, G-Y-R-O. I know you probably call it a gyro, but it's a gyro. <laughs> and lemony green beans. All right, let's jump into this. So we're going to cut our mushrooms. This is a portobello. And I'm going to cut these so that they can lay flat. They go on here. And the button mushrooms, I'm just going to quarter. This looks like a lot of mushrooms, but they shrink. This is shiitake. The stems are not edible. Just take the stem out like that. So these, I'm gonna do it like this. Now, we're going to do some thyme. You hold the top and you pull straight down. And then there's your thyme. You need about a teaspoon. What I'm going to do is add some oil. Coat them real good. You are gonna mix them up. Ovens are set at 425, they're going in. Next, I'm gonna prep the green beans. Get your green beans lined up, cut the tips off, turning them, boom. Now, what do we have to put in the water? Salt. salt. That's right, it needs to taste like the sea. A lot of times people think it's too much salt, but if you can't taste it, nothing goes into the green beans. When you are blanching a vegetable, what keeps it green, you shock it in your ice bath, blanch shock, exactly, blanch shock. Yeah. When you take that cold shower, you're like, ah! Yeah. You know, it's like, oh, I'm cold, yeah. ah! You wanna yeah. freeze that green in time, <laughs> okay? Freezing the green in time. I'm gonna go ahead and start working on a lemon tarragon salt. You only want the yellow part. I'm gonna put that into the salt. Now we're gonna get some tarragon, get it in a little pile, just do one pass. If you keep going over your soft herbs, they will turn black. That goes in here. This is such an easy pop of flavor. Mm. These look like they've gone long enough. See how nice and green they are? So these, we're using this as a garnish. It's crisp tender. It's still crunchy. Oh, that's really tasty. Come here. All right, now let's get the rest of our components ready for it with our mushrooms. A lot of times you'll see recipes, they'll say rinse the beans, but in this case, we don't have to rinse them with water. We still want the flavor, so we're just gonna drain them. Add about a quarter cup of parsley. Stems and all, the stems are flavorful. Garlic. Because we're going in the food processor, we can just smash our garlic. One clove, boom. All right, half cup panko. Cumin, teaspoon, and a half teaspoon of cayenne. Salt. I'm gonna do an egg. This is ready for our mushrooms when we get ready. Let me check my mushrooms. So let's see where we are. You see the water around here? I don't want the water. I need to continue to cook them until they dried out. But did you smell how they were getting really intense and just beautiful? Yeah. Now, we wanna do our sauce. Okay, so we're gonna do a third of a cup of the yogurt and sour cream. Now I'm going to grate my cucumber. I like the green in it, I'm not gonna peel it. Because everything is white, I'm thinking about the little flecks of green, texture, boom, salt. Look for a smaller clove of garlic for this. I wanna share with you how to clean your garlic hands. Once you wash your hands, rub it on something stainless steel. It will help take some of that smell out. I don't want you, you're sleeping at night and your hands are dangling, whoo, <laughs> right? It's bad. It made me hungry, though. All right, teaspoon of cumin in here. Mm-hmm. Now what I'm gonna do, I have my beans. Take these out. I love peas so much, and pea season is really short, so I started making these because these are my green beans pretending to be peas. A little bit of oil that acts as flavor and glue, a sprinkle of salt, the seasoned salt that we just made. It's so simple, something so simple, and, and just really making this vegetable shine. Let me go check the mushrooms. Yes, yes, mushrooms. All right, this is where we are. So they are all starting to get wrinkly and they're really nice. We're gonna cool these off. Let's cut our tomatoes. You just need a few of these for the sandwich. Get my oil on enough to have a quarter of an inch in the pan. Mushrooms in. 
You want to pulse it about 10 times. Look in here, make sure there's nothing that isn't mixed in. Now I'm in a good place where I can turn my oil on. A couple more pulses. The key is that this will stick together. So you're gonna grab your quarter cup measure and then you're gonna make your patties, like flattened patties. Now when you go into your oil, all you really are doing is heating it through and getting it crispy on the outside. So as we do that, I'm gonna get my heater ready, a little bit of oil. When you're making a sandwich, you have to think about your bread. All right, turning these over so you can see how they're getting nice and brown. I'm gonna turn this eye on. This pita goes right on it. Don't get distracted by this. This, I can see this bread going up in flames. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's really, it's boom, boom, tiki boo it's warm, take it off. We have that golden brown and delicious. The, the chef in me wants to take my little salt and go di 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 I think I'm gonna do it. When something comes out of the fryer, I can't help it. It's a little bit of salt, just a little bit, just like a french fry. So I take my tongs and I just go in there and I just make sure I can open it. I'm gonna put some of the sauce inside. I always like more sauce. You can have some outside. We're gonna get our falafel. Again, I still want more sauce. I love sauce. Our green beans. Now, these tomatoes, which I did nothing with, I think they should have some dressing or salt. And boom. Wow. That's your little sandwich.